You may have heard of the 48-hour film challenge. Well, here we are at the screening of those who participated in the challenge. Bronx 148 is a collective of filmmakers, of artists that are based in the Bronx. Majority of us are based in the Bronx, and we do uh, programming throughout the, throughout the year. But our annual event, our main flagship event, is the 48-hour film challenge, where we invite filmmakers from all levels, whether you're a beginner or an expert, to come together on a weekend. We give them a required element, a prop, a character name, a landmark that they have to highlight in the Bronx, uh, and a genre. All right, and we we give that they receive that on a on a Friday. We send them off to create the film in 48 hours. So everything is shot, edited, uh, produced, and submitted in 48 hours. A duo team tells us how difficult it is to film a masterpiece in 48 hours. We shot, we edited, and did everything within 10 hours. Due to him, he had prior engagements. Our main actor had prior engagements. I had prior engagements. So actually, we did everything within 10 hours. So that was like intense for us. We both don't watch horror movies, so <laughs> <laughs> it was difficult coming up with the story. Um, I had to go play video games to be able to get an idea, because like that's how I get ideas. So I went to play video games while they were brainstorming, and then I came back and like brought the story, and like we all like came together, put out, gave our inputs, and all that. So she brought the idea of the dream in a dream. And I thought it, it made sense. And like, we have another friend, Sarah, yeah. who also like helped, um, what's it called, develop the story to what it is now. Phil Capadora was this year's film judge and explains what makes a film qualify for the challenge. Just that they actually showed up and did it. You know, these kids uh, really showed a lot of initiative and creativity uh, to qualify for something like this. Uh, it's limited by your own imagination. You just gotta put yourself out there. Congratulations to the filmmakers who stepped up to the challenge and showing the world what Bronx filmmaking is all about. For BronxNet, this is Kyrie Moody.